Hi dears, in this video we will continue with exercise 3.3. Question number 1 we need to solve by substitution method. Okay, There are 3 methods substitution, elimination and cross multiplication. So only we have substitution and elimination for this year. Okay, So to solve by substitution method, write the given equation and mark it as first and second. Okay, Now we are going to pick up only one equation. Say for example we will take the first equation. So using 1 or from first equation either you choose x or y any one you can choose so i am going to choose x so i am going to find x value from the first equation that means we need to take y to the right side so x is equal to 14 minus y since we have one as the coefficient we can mark this as the third equation so from which equation you are finding the value excluding that we are going to use the other equation and as we have found x here substitute that in the other equation and find the y value then we can use this equation to find the x value okay so substituting equation 3 in second equation so from first equation only we have found x value in terms of y then we are going to substitute in the other equation to find the unknown in place of x it is 14 minus y only x straight away we don't have any other number or plus or minus we'll just put it in a bracket minus y and other terms as it is now we'll remove the bracket 14 minus y minus y that will become minus 2y so we need to find the y value we just group y values to one term and constants to one term we'll take minus 2y to the right side plus 4 to the left side that will be 10 equal to 2y so into 2 it will be by 2 to the opposite side y value is 5 as we have found the y value substitute in the third equation it is not compulsory to use this you can use any one of this to find okay now substitute y equal to 5 let us use this equation third equation okay so x is equal to in place of y it is 5 14 minus 5 is 9 therefore x is equal to 9 y is equal to 5 this is the final answer now the second subdivision s minus t equal to 3 that i have marked as first equation s by 3 plus t by 2 equal to 6 this you can have as it is or you can simplify by taking the lcm we know the lcm of 3 and 2 is 6 isn't it so 2s plus 3t the whole by 6 we are taking to the right side already 6 we have that becomes 36 we cannot simplify further so let this be the second equation like how we did in the previous subdivision the same procedure okay so let us choose the first equation using first equation any one you can find okay let us find s so s minus t equal to 3 minus t we are going to take to the right side that becomes plus 3 minus t will become plus so t plus 3 this will be the third equation as we have used the first equation so now we need to substitute in the second equation substitute equation 3 in second equation that means in place of s we need to substitute t plus 3 so 2 into brackets in place of s it is t plus 3 3 t as it is 36 as it is multiply 2 inside 2 into t 2 t plus 2 3 is 6 plus 3 t and group t to one side and constants to the other side so 2 t plus 3 t 5 t 36 plus 6 will be minus 6 that is 30 when we divide 30 by 5 the value will be 6 you can substitute in third equation to find the s value let us write substitute t is equal to 6 in third equation that means s is equal to in place of t it is 6 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 therefore s is equal to 9 t is equal to 6 is the final answer third subdivision 3x minus y equal to 3 9x minus 3y equal to 9 okay so when you take out the first equation this will be a little bit uh, different one let's see let us take the first equation let's find what is y so taking y to the right side it will become positive so 3x minus 3 or you can take 3 also common 3 into x minus 1 so let this be the third equation as we have used the first equation now we are going to substitute in the second one substitute y in second equation 
that is in place of y we are going to substitute 3x minus 3 okay now minus 3 into 3x minus 3 into minus 3 that becomes minus 9x and minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9 so plus 9x minus 9x gets cancelled we get 9 equal to 9 okay we don't have any variables to find and also if you check for the second equation when you divide throughout by 3 we get 3x minus y equal to 3 again the same form of first equation so this will be true if the lines are coincident as we have learned parallel lines intersecting at a point and coincident line in the previous lines in the previous exercise so this will be the case for coincident lines so there are infinitely many solutions we cannot find one solution like in the previous subdivisions we have x is equal to 9 y is equal to 5 so only one set of solution will be having but for incident line we have n number of solution so we can write the given pair of equations have infinite number of solutions as we don't have variables to find it is not easy to find the value so this satisfies the condition for incidence lines coincidence lines so we have infinite number of solutions fourth subdivision the only difference is we have in decimal other than that the procedure are same we'll take the first equation we'll find what is y from the first equation so 0.3 y taking x to the right side it will become minus as it is plus 0. 2x so into 0 0.3 we have so y is equal to 1.3 minus 0 0.2 x the whole by 0 0.3 if you want you can multiply with 10 to make it as a whole number that's up to you so this will be the third equation now we are going to substitute before that let's substitute let's write first equation from first so substitute y in third equation in place of y we need to substitute this so 0.4x plus 0.5 into y in that place it is 1.3 minus 0.2x by 0.3 equal to 2.3 if you see if you can multiply or sorry if you can cancel the 0.5 and 0.3 well you can do as it is a whole multiple you cannot simplify then multiply the 0.5 inside i'm just taking the lcm directly so throughout 0 0.3 will be the LCM and we need to cross multiply after taking the LCM to the right side. So 0 0.3 into 0 0.4 it will be 0 0.12x and 0 0.5 into 1.3 it will be 0 0.65 minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.2 it is 0 0.1x the whole by 0 0.3 we can take it to the right side. So 2.3 into 0 0.3 that will be 0 0.69 then we'll find x value this is 0 0.10 okay so when we subtract the 0 0.12 and 0 0.10 this will be 0 0.02 x we'll take plus 0 0.65 to the other side so that will be 0 0.69 minus 0 0.65 so that will be 0 0.04 so to find x it is 0 0.04 by 0 0.02 we can cancel in the 0 0.02 table itself that is x is equal to 2 let us mention here substitute x is equal to 2 in third equation so that becomes y is equal to 1.3 minus 0 0.2 into in place of x it is 2 the whole by 0 0.3 that is 1.3 minus 0 0.2 into 2 it is 0 0.4 by 0 0.3 so 1.3 minus 0 0.4 the value is 0 0.9 we can cancel in 0 0.3 table that is 1 times and 3 times so we get the value x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 only difference in this question is in decimal use the rough column make sure you have placed the decimal correctly then write the final answer fifth subdivision root 2 x plus root 3 y equal to 0 root 3 x minus root 8 y equal to 0 so we have the first and second equations now what we are going to do you can pick any equation we will choose second equation so second equation implies we will find what is x if x is inside the root then this will not be the linear equation as we know it should be 0 and greater than 0 it should be a proper number whole number isn't it 
Okay, let us find x from here. So, root 3 into x equal to, when we take this minus, it will become plus. So, 0 plus any number we know, it is the same number. So, x is equal to, either you can write root 8 by root 3 or you can combine as a whole, root of 8 by 3. That's up to you. Let us mark this as the third equation. As we have used the second equation, let us substitute in first equation. So, first, let us write here, substitute x in first equation okay so first equation becomes root 2 into in place of x it is root 8 by root 3 into y plus root 3 y as it is let us multiply inside we cannot cancel yeah so root 2 into root 8 y by root 3 plus root 3 y equal to 0 you can take the lcm and we can multiply inside this we can combine in the whole root so root of 2 into 8 y we are going to take the LCM, root 3 into root 3, it is 3 and right side 0 into any number will be 0. So, root 16, that is 4, so 4y plus 3y equal to 0, that is 7y equal to 0, taking sum to the other side, 0 by any number will become 0. Now, we are going to substitute 0 in this third equation, substitute y in third equation that becomes x is equal to root 8 by root 3 into 0 any number into 0 it is 0 therefore the value x is equal to 0 y equal to 0 sixth subdivision it is of the fraction form that's it let us simplify then mark it as first and second equation so 2 and 3 we know the lcm is 6 so this will become 3x into 3 minus 5y into 2 the whole by 6 equal to minus 2 then we cross multiply so this becomes 9x minus 10y equal to 2 6 are 12 so minus 12 we cannot simplify here so let this be the first equation similarly this we are going to take the lcm 3 and 2 again 6 so this will be 2x plus 3y the whole by 6 equal to 13 by 6 so here as a whole in denominator on both sides we have 6 we can cancel that that becomes 2x plus 3y equal to 13 as we cannot simplify further let this be the second equation then as usual procedure okay let us pick this first equation so first equation in place i'm going to find what is y then take minus 12 to the left side that will be plus taking minus 10y to the right side it will become plus 9x plus 12 equal to 10y then we need to find what is y so into 10 will be in the denominator so this is our third equation as we have taken the first equation we need to substitute in the second substitute equation 3 in equation 2 that is y in place of y 2x plus 3 into in place of y 9x plus 12 by 10 equal to 13 as we cannot cancel here you can multiply directly and take 10 as the LCM. So that will become 20x, 3 9s are 27x, 3 12s are 36, taking as a whole 10 to the right side 130. Then group x to one side and constants to the other side. So 20 plus 27 it is 47x, then it is 130 minus 36. 47x is equal to 94, so x is equal to 94 by 47, it is 2. So x is equal to 2. Let us substitute this x is equal to 2 in third equation. Let us write here, substitute x is equal to 2 in third equation. So y is equal to 9x, that is 9 into 2 plus 12 by 10. 9 twos are 18 plus 12 by 10, that is 30 by 10, it is 3. So therefore, x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 is the final answer.